I'm out here training some uh, sabat or some spear during the sunset, and I figured I'll go ahead and share some uh, spear fighting techniques with you. So make sure to uh, do me a quick favor, hit the thumbs up button on this video, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you're notified when I have a new upload. That way you don't miss any training. If you do not have a training spear like mine right here, that's okay. Go ahead and use a uh, rattan Kali staff or anything that you can find around the house that uh, represents a pole arm. This comes from the seventh area of Kali. And in Kali, there are two spear fighting systems. There's the short spear that measures from the floor to about your plexus height. And then there's the long spear that measures from the floor to a couple of feet taller than you. So what we're gonna be covering today is off of the long spear system. The relative weapon to the spear, believe it or not, is the knife, the dagger. And basically the spear is we have a knife or a dagger that's just attached to a long pole. So just like the knife, the primary tactic on the spear is the thrust. The secondary tactic, just like on the knife, is the slash or the cutting tactic. The cutting tactic is there on the spear so that way we can either beat our opponent's spear, we could beat their weapon, or we can recover the line. We can recover our weapon and recover the line, meaning recovering the center. That way we can get back to the thrust, which is the primary tactic because the thrusts are the definite killing blows. So let's take a look at the drill today. We're gonna start off with a jabbing thrust. This is like a probing thrust. So we're not thrusting as far as we can. We're gonna step in and jab thrust. I want you to imagine here, because I don't have a training partner with me right now, but just imagine that your, uh, your opponent's gonna parry your weapon out of the way, okay? So if I'm coming in, boom, you're my opponent, you're gonna parry my weapon out of the way. That opens up your line for your thrust. I'm gonna remove the target, meaning I'm gonna move my head with footwork, stepping back to the right, and I'm gonna smash this down with my slash, beating my opponent's weapon. Then I'm gonna step forward and go into that long range thrust, sliding the shaft of the spear till my hands meet down at the end of the spear, and then bring it back. Let me show you this from the side. From here, I'm gonna jab thrust, my opponent parries. I'm gonna step off the line, beat their weapon down, step forward and long range thrust, bring it back. Okay, let's show that again. One, two, three, right there. Let's show it from the other side. One, two, three, right there. Once again, coming at you. One, two, and three. The second drill is gonna be based off of the exact same setup, but it's, uh, this one's used for when we want to close the distance a little bit more. So from here, we're gonna jab our spear. They're gonna parry it. We're gonna step off, beat their weapon, and now we're gonna recover the center with a ripping cut. I'm gonna step passing through with my left foot as I rip, and then I'm gonna thrust, a full thrust, as I step forward with the right foot. Let me show you that again. Thrust, with a jabbing thrust, they parry the weapon. I step off the line, I beat their weapon, I'm gonna pass through step as I rip the blade up towards my opponent's face, stepping through with that full thrust. So one, two, three, four. Just like that. Let's go ahead and show you this one from a couple of angles. This gives you two really great sequences to work on from the slash thrust series on the sabat or the long spear system of Kali. If you'd like to get more spear training, let me know in the comments below. Make sure again that you give this video a thumbs up so that way I know you wanna see some more spear stuff. And also head over to KaliCenter.com and join me inside my online school where we have more spear training plus all of the other 12 areas of Kali and all the subcategories within those areas. If you need a rattan staff to train with, you can pick one up over at our store, also over at collicenter.com.
All right, now it's your turn. Make sure to get outside and go thrust your spear and train your spear into the sunset. Thank <laughs> you.